Cheetahs reporting there. All right, 442. Cheetah, so when will the ice and snow melt here? You know, it's going to be a gradual process, but I would expect, you know, as temperatures climb above freezing around 10, 11 o'clock this morning, that's when we're going to turn the corner. You know, through midday and this afternoon, you're going to notice some big improvements across the entire city. And so temperature wise, we're in the teens and 20s. Fulcher may be sticking out to you 16. Take a look, Sugarland now down to 19. So with temperatures at this hard freeze status, take uh, a look at this camera shot if we still have it. So you can clearly see here's some train tracks. Uh, this is in Fifth Ward completely iced over. So this was all snow covered yesterday. It melted and then it refroze overnight and you can see that thick glaze even with some snow on the ground. So let's say areas that didn't see as much sunlight. Uh, you've been seeing some of those shots from Devon downtown. Uh, we'll stay iced over. Let's get back to our temperatures. Let me show you across the board. It doesn't matter where you're waking up. It's teens and 20s. That's at a hard freeze. Now, like Steph was saying, when can we expect these above freezing temperatures and when will this ice melt? Well, kind of like yesterday, we had slush in a lot of neighborhoods on a lot of roadways. I'm expecting between lunchtime through the afternoon, big improvements because we're back to the mid 40s later today under sunny skies. Now, Jen was bringing up a good point, you know, over these bridges um, that have water, especially under them. Now, overnight, when we have clear skies, radiation cooling takes effect. So you have the loss of heating and over normal, typical um, roadways, it it, it uh, starts to cool evenly across the area. But when you have water underneath, as the evaporation cooling starts to take place overnight, that cool air from the water beneath a bridge, that impacts the air temperature on the bridge. And that's why you hear often when we're talking about potential ice um, or anything that is frozen over overnight, anything especially above water, Jen, will take longer uh, to evaporate and to warm because they're also dealing with the cool temperatures below with the water. All right, and yeah, an explanation that we need to be reminded of because we don't usually see these type of conditions hit Houston, Texas. I hope you had fun yesterday and stayed safe. I know a few accidents did pop up and it was treacherous, but a lot of you did heed the advice and you stayed put. So once again, we're asking that you do so at least through midday. East Texas Freeway at Lyons, you can see that we are looking at some snowy conditions. Drivers taking it slow. If you have to be someplace, ease up on that accelerator. Anything that looks wet, you want to assume that it is ice. This is the Gulf Freeway at 2351. Not a lot of travelers, but both airports opening up later today. West Park is still shut down at 1464. You can't go through on the main lanes and any overpasses or bridges are of concern. You remember how uh, snow packed it was on the Gulf Freeway on the Pierce? Well, this is what it looks like today. Definitely some improvements there at San Jacinto as drivers are able to use it and it is open in the heart of downtown. But nearby, as you exit toward the Galveston County area and head southbound, this is what it looks like at West Bastrop and you can see it's a snowy icy condition so that's why we want you to use a lot of caution again if you think that anything is wet ahead you need to keep your steering wheel uh, tight and assume that it is ice. All right. Thank you so much.